Welcome uh, um, to another special video and I'm not asking for a donation. Um, this video is about information that uh, I think each and every person on this planet should know which um, this in these information are what information I'm about to give um, you know was not a lot of people know about who you are and how to find out who you are as a spiritual beam or whoever you call yourself or whoever you look at yourself as okay and um, this video is about uh, learning to understand who you are um, each individual needs to know um, certain things about themselves number one you need to know what is a, your birth chart what is in your birth chart when you were born what is your birth chart your birth chart is the planetary system um, that governs you wherever you were born on this planet wherever you were born on this planet some of you were born here some of you um, or see um, souls enter your body changing out so um, you know and, and that is something that I need to um, explain to a lot of people so let me go from the beginning so when you were born wherever you were born on this planet there is um, there is certain planetary system that was around when you were born so let's say the people who were born in Florida okay so you were born in West Palm Beach in um, let's say Green Acres West Palm Beach at this hours at say 12 o'clock in the night um, how does that affect you um, it affects you in the month you were born where was the Sun where was the moon where what planets was there what planets govern you so um, let's say you were born in November and you were born in Florida in West Virginia in November and it is uh, the 20 okay let's say um, the 6th of November okay then you were born under the energy of the scorpions okay and what happened is that wherever you were born you know um, there is um, different different planets that is around wherever they sit in your birth chart so remember that everything revolves around the Sun and you have the moon so you will be a moon raising sign person because of where the moon was positioned if you were born in the night and you know the example was that you were born at 12 o'clock in the night so wherever the moon was and whatever star system that as a, was around the position where you were born on this planet it doesn't really matter if you were born at home in a hospital in a car wherever um it says a whole lot and that is where you find your birth chart because your birth chart um, tells whatever planet because whatever you know the example is that you're a scorpion because I choose a deep scorpion which is the 6th of November so you're neither a cops because the cups people are like the scorpions who were born on the 21st and the 20th of November you're a cups person because you hold the energy vibration of the next sign of the Sagittarians so um, these are information that you as a person needs uh, to understand because what happened is that with each individual zodiac sign there is a breakdown of three um, um, three aspect of that sign and this is why um, you can have six people who were born on the 6th of November but has six different characters because of where they were born what Sun what planet was in um, the radio the region of where they were born so I'm amazed that not a lot of people really explain this to people so people can understand themselves because um, 
it really has an effect on you I, I've been you know studying people for a, a very long time and I'm seeing this more and more and I think the most um, connected people and the only uh, sign that I've ever seen is uh, the people who were born on the 31st of October they are basically alike with each other they have the exhale ex you know the the same characteristic which is just so weird that is the only um, sign that I've seen and that those are the scorpion that the people who are born on the 31st for all those people that I've been studying and watching their characteristic how close they are together um, which is which is unbelievable because actually the 31st in America is Halloween and all these people that born on Halloween day is just so and it doesn't really matter where they were born um, they have the exact characteristic um, they have the exact same characteristic and I've known you know a lot of these and I'm uh, I study people body language and characteristic of who they are to understand how the psychic and the mind of people works and they are the only ones that are have come so close so going back to that you have with every zodiac sign you have three aspects so you begin a zodiac sign with a cups people and the cups people is always um, five days into that zodiac sign so let's say um, five days into that zodiac sign as we go back to count you have um, with a scorpion because we're going to use the scorpions for the example we have the third 21st the 20th the 19 um, the 18 and the 17 so people from the 17 um, the 17 of November um, going towards you they are caps people because um, they're going towards the skirt the, the the Sagittarians and the Sagittarius is from the 22nd the 23rd the 24th 25th and 26th these are all caps people so five five um, five days before the changing of the next sign so going forward the Sagittarians from the 20 um, second 23rd 24th 25th 26th it would be caps so these people can go with any other caps person so if you are trying to figure out who who am I compatible which is a very easy thing that um, people can, can people can kind of figure it out for themselves you need to find out if you are a caps if you are a caps you're very compatible with other caps people I am a cap so I can I am compatible with all the rest of caps people because I can have a relationship with them whether a uh, love relationship or a friendship because that love relationship or friendship really is compatible because we're caps so we vibrate with two different uh, energy vibration um, two different zodiac energy vibration and this is good when we move from the first aspect of a sign to the, as the, the second aspect of a sign what we're realizing is that we have the full bloom of that sign so you're moving away now from um, the scorpions the um, to the Sagittarius which is first and I can't use the Sagittarius as example because the Sagittarius they change on the 29 um, which I'm going to bring in later on in explaining this so what happened with caps people um, remember the caps or the ending of one sign and the beginning of another one so they carry two zodiac energy vibration and sometimes it is in their birth chart and sometimes it is not in their birth chart but for some reason caps people it doesn't matter who or where your caps you can vibrate because remember there are four elements you have um, you have the element of the hair which is the Aquarians the Gemini and um, the Aquarians the Gemini and um, the 
Aquarius, Gemini, and the Librans. Okay, they are the A of people. Then we look at uh, um, the Fire people. These are the Aries, the Leo, and the Sagittarius. Okay, and then we move on, and then we have uh, um, the Taurus, the the Pisces, the Cancers, and the Scorpions. Okay, and then we move away from that, and we have the Taurus, the Virgo, and the Capricorns. So. As we look at these situation and each and every person is aligned on their element okay so whatever it is you have to consider number one what am I who am I where do I vibrate what element do I vibrate under and when you vibrate under when you find out what element you vibrate under, because you're going to know in which month you were born and you know we as the Western civilization we do know when we were born there are some African countries that some people don't know when they were born and they were just given a, a day when they were born some other countries um, um, do not register the child on the day that the child was born because somehow the village is too far from where the registration and you know I'm, I'm really thinking back on that and I'm thinking oh my god it's like most of these people have no idea who they truly are um, which I think is so very crazy because I'm thinking if you have a child why would you um, you know the day the child was born even a week later make sure you write on the time and then go register the child and I'm thinking that is so um, you know very okay but it happens it happens and this is truly truly um, affect a lot of people because a lot of people are not aware of who they are and um, you know a very important thing is that the time of your date of birth the time when you were born is very very important because if you're looking about your birth chart it is always acts because it has a significant everything that happened to you once you um, evolve or exist on this planet the moment the minute you exist and breathe the first breath when you were born at that time and that moment plays a significant role and have the secret to, to who you are as a person on this planet so um, I am you know I'm, I'm appalled that a lot of people are not aware of this and I think that um, most people don't even um, want to know and um, people just realize that okay I have it and this is okay so why would I want to know it is very important that for the next coming years till 2032 this is going to affect most of us because um, the energy vibration of the hurt is going to change and what is going to happen is that and you can now see it that people are flipping and people are flipping because they're realizing that their energy vibration who they thought they were they're not really because uh, um, the, 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 the speed of uh, um, the energy vibration is picking up and picking up and picking up and it's it's going faster and faster and um, when you were born and the zodiac that you were born on the is, is, is reversing it's going back ways it's 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 actually going back ways um, this message is very important because a lot of people need to find out your birth chart it is very hard for some people who are not going to know because some people who weren't born in um, you know um, um, countries like you know America and and all the the, 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 the top line um, European countries that you know everything is datered everything all information is picked up and is datered and um, there is going to be a you know a sort of a problem with you guys and that's where I come in to really find out and go back to track 
um, who you are and uh, um, you know what planetary system because wherever you were born um, you stem from a certain planetary system and that's what a lot of people do not understand a lot of people don't know and for some people who do not feel connected to this planet is because they know that they are from a totally different on the solar system and people will say that and some people choose not to say it because they think that other people are going to look at them differently and for myself I think uh, um, your opinion has nothing to do with me because at least um, I am intellectually enough to go and 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 and, and study to find out and go back to go step by step to find out why do I tick as a person why is certain things um, I connect to certain things and why don't I connect to certain things so a lot of people um, have these questions but you know are afraid to really start a discussion over these things and um, this this next five years because you started seeing it from this year 2017 this this for the next five years a lot of people are going to be going back to find out their existence their team of existence because the whole universe that this planet is in is changing and whatever is happening on this planet at this time this timeline because we're leaving um, the, the the Pisces and going in the Aquarians timeline so whatever is happening now there's a lot of changes that is coming in and you need to educate yourself about who you are and how you're going to do this is try to find out from your birth chart going back from your birth chart then you will find out uh, what solar system who are you or your crystal child or your star seed or your indigo child what um who are you and 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 why are you here because that is what everything is coming back to why are you here um what is your purpose to be on this planet so these are questions that some people are have already asked themselves and some people are going to ask themselves um in the next five years because the changes are coming in so rapidly that we um as a species on this planet is going to start to you know really ask ourselves what is this all about because um if you look at how you develop as a normal person how you develop is that between the ages of zero and five you're becoming aware that you're in existence you're aware of a conscious mind between five and ten you're beginning to gain a characteristic you're beginning to look at things you're beginning to find out who you are you're beginning to understand that you are and beam and beam or a, a, a human being and that's why it's the, the name of it is human being because on other planets they're called um, different things and you're a human being so you're a being in whatever sense you look at it you're a human being so a lot of people are going to start rethinking the whole process of who you are and why you're here what is your part what is your play what is your movie all about and why are you playing this movie because each and every person plays a role on this planet and it doesn't matter if you think you are not you don't you have no idea who you are to find out who you are and why you are here the secret lays within your birth chart and by finding out what element you vibrate under and your birth chart what zodiac what planets the zodiac the planets that is is, 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 is moving you to a sense because um, for an example for the next three years as of December next month 
um, for the next three years Saturn is going to be in the Capricorns um, it's going to go in the Capricorn's charts so for you Capricorn people you're about to, to be awakened and this awakening because trust me when when Saturn comes in your planet may God help you because everyone who has felt um, Saturn going through your birth chart you know a <laughs> Saturn remove root up all that no longer serve you and just it's like Saturn comes in and will shed the hell will just shed you from head to tail you know and you know you're gonna feel a sense of uh, um, a huge change and er eruption in your life it's like you have this beautiful wonderful life things is going good you're pumping it money is rolling everything and then whoop your life and you start thinking oh this person is doing you that and that person is doing you that and how can this be happening and I can't understand because you don't know what's happening in your birth chart so I'm giving most of these um, astrological people more um, push um, and, and more help because I would think that they are the one that's supposed to be doing this but I'm realizing more and more that there is certain information that is not coming out and I have been you know I am a channeler so because if you look I have nothing I'm reading from I'm giving you this information and there is nothing that is here that I'm reading on I don't write things down because I channel I don't all everything that I said I don't write things down. sometimes you can see my eyes um, flipping because it depends on who is sending out the message because um, um, I am yeah I'm a channeler because I have always said I'm not a psychic because people say yeah you're a psychic no I'm not a psychic I channel things and how we are about you know humanity is about to take another level humanity humanity is about to um, vibrate on another higher energy vibration and if you don't choose to do that you will be left behind and there are choices that we all need to make because it is coming up the next five years that we need to make these choices and these choices is that are you willing to know who you are or are you willing to know why you're here or are you willing to know what is your part that you're playing at this time on this planet and how you can use this moment of your life being here because what a lot of you do not understand is that you have been gifted the gift to be on this planet not everyone can be on this planet this planet is a planet that was made for vacation for people who done good deeds in other planetary system and would have come here to have a vacation it's like one of the most beautiful planets in the solar system and whatsoever happens on this planet affect the rest of the whole solar system so if you realize that when war or anything break out on this planet it's like a shift comes in whatever you do whatever whatever happens on this planet there comes a shift in every time that something negative happens there come a shift in so we need to understand that every consciousness we're all conscious and we're all connected and it's like a grid of power that we beam out on this planet that we connect with all the universe and we're sitting in this universe and this is not the only universe there are millions of the universe there are millions of the Milky Way okay so um, we have to understand that whatever we do on this planet is, is going to affect and as always affect the other um, universe and things so whatever shift on this planet because remember there are 12 planetary system but there's actually more than 12 there are some that are not talked about and um, the closest one to us is Mars and um, 
a lot of people are kicking up about Mars and they want to go to Mars and they want to and uh, there are some people I don't know uh, <laughs> someone who I used to work with he bought um, a piece of ground on Mars and I said to him are you really I mean I said to him you're a very smart intelligent man who why would you want to buy something on Mars you are never ever going to go to Mars why I mean it costs how many millions to go to Mars so why would you want to buy something on Mars when you can't get there so um, you know this is what is really happening now because um, when people have a, a certain um, amount of intelligence to understand a certain aspect and when you're intelligent enough to understand who you are because first you begin with who you are as a person then you can understand um, who the next person is and, and, and then you can connect with the rest from the world because you begin with yourself with everything you begin with yourself because um again um no one um your parents are not going to um your parents are not the one who is going to um you know at rake and day that they are the one that is going to be you know accustomed for what you have done no it's you as a person um i can pray for my son but I can't um, take up all of what he has done because I don't have that position so we all begin with ourselves and we can love our kids and we can love our parents but at the end of the day everybody has to look um, um, at their deeds because whatever you do is what is going to be raking in whenever you pass over to the spirit world which a lot of people do not understand and a lot of people are afraid of certain aspects and a lot of people do not want to consider a certain aspect but you need to find out between now and five years the coming five years who am I and why am I here what it is that I can do to change the energy vibration on this planet okay because um, we need to change um, the energy vibration because if you don't change your energy vibration to one of love and peace you are going to find out that you will be either you have to make choices and the choices is that if you're not vibrating with the energy vibration of this planet you're automatically um, going to be removed so you know when I you know I've gotten a few videos that people send to me to listen to and uh, most of them I think you know I will start listening to them and I'm thinking okay you know everybody has their own ways of looking at things and that sort of a thing but um, when they're talking about depopulation and that sort of a thing um, if people really understand how um, everything works everything are connected and how things work there doesn't have to be a depopulation because it's going to automatically happen you know so um, uh, and the depopulation um, thing that is all going around and everybody is thinking about it um, you know understanding how everything connects then we understand that everything goes in a cycle we all were born we we grew up we look like a beautiful flowers and then we dry up and we die which is something that I had a problem dealing with because I'm saying okay if life is so wonderful and things are so good why is it we could not stay at the age 20 and 30 you know that age between um, 20 and 30 are oh, we're vibrant we're happy we bloom we look so nice we are so happy for the people who are like that but then yeah we got hold we start feeling pain and you know around the corner we are sitting and we can't move and every time we stand up we're feeling pain and that sort of a thing and I'm thinking why is it that we couldn't but you have to understand 
when you look at a plant you plant uh, roses and the roses start to grow and then it start to blossom and then it looks so beautiful and then it start to open and it's the most beautiful thing to see a roses or a flower open and then it just blooms in the water and the morning dew is on the flowers and then all of a sudden it start to die that's life um, and it's just a circle it's just a continuation circle of that and then you have a baby and then the baby grow up and the baby has another baby and then you become old and you know but it's a circle of life and this is what we need to understand this is this is this is something that is beyond but yet still we can um, promote that and uh, you know enjoy the time by changing our perspective around certain things because if you think oh my god I'm getting old then you're going to get old because that's what you're calling in but if you constantly say you know I'm so um, young and I stay young because a lot of people always said oh my god you don't look your age and that sort of a thing yeah because I personally always think young and that I'm I want to stay young forever and that is what I attract to myself so you're going to understand that whatever you're thinking is what you're attracting if you're thinking whatever you're thinking for yourself in a good form that is what you're going to attract the other thing is that the secret of uh, um, being healthy and being you know vibrant and that sort of a thing is to talk to your um, your body your blood cells you know because that's what brings um, and pump the vitamin everything in your body so you know you have to be awakened and be conscious be be awakened and be conscious that whatever you um, send out in the universe that is what you're going to um, get in return and coming the next five years because this is what I'm channeling the next five years because obviously a great shift is going to happen in the next five years is that um, we need to be understanding of who we are we need to be um, holding positive thoughts it does really matter what is going on around you whatever chaotic thing is going on around you um, you stand in that chaos and you brace it as, as if an hurricane you're standing in the eye of a hurricane and you're going to brace it because there is a lesson that you need to learn we can't and there's a lot of people who are going to be tending to give up but this is not the time to give up because you have been gifted this time on this planet for a reason and that reason is to help you to start vibrating at a higher energy vibration it doesn't matter what you do it doesn't matter who you are it doesn't matter matter what color you are what race you are but embrace this gift of life that we got because this gift of life we got for a reason so we can help others but yet still help yourself so going back to find out who you are and the worst thing is that um, um, for us as you know light workers whoever you want to call us um, we got the gift um, of opening up and of making other people aware but some of us um, will overcharge and um, sometimes um, it's not um, viable um, in the sense and it is a lot of work because when you think about the people who does read it it's like you have to actually um, stop yourself from off one reading before you move on to another one and like I was saying to a lot of people I do my readings very very differently because if I'm sick if I'm going through emotionally up downs or if I'm moving or that sort of a thing I cannot do a reading for someone because whatever is in my energy vibration will protrude in that reading so I have to always be focused and I'm always drinking water because if I'm um, I drink cola for some reason I love cola there is something about it I love it and why I drink cola is that sometimes I'm I'm glute 
I can't eat certain um, stuff and sometimes you go out to eat and people don't tell you that the stuff is in it and then um, my, my gluto allergy my stomach just start hurting me and the only thing that helps me is cola and this is the reason why I drink cola because cola there is something in the cola that breaks down um, the the, the fer fermentation of that because I can't I can't have anything with flour and that sort of a thing pizza and that sort of a thing it's not really and once I eat it I just have a stomach pain and a lot of people tend to have these uh, um, allergy form because uh, um, so I drink cola okay and some people will say but how are you on the spiritual part and you drink cola um, not everyone um, our bodies are built different and certain things cola release that pain because I like have pain because I remember the first time we realized that I had gluto allergy is um, I was in the States 2008 and we had Christmas dinner and my stomach and I was like and we went to walk around the block afterwards because we ate so much of course it was Christmas I was home with my family and I I nearly died on the road I swear I had to take my bail off and everything and then my, my aunt said oh my god you have gluteology because my aunt is a nurse and I said what and she goes yeah you can't you just had this and that and that and I said yes and she said oh my god you have gluteology you can't your stomach your system can't break down all of that I was like oh my god so I went home and she gave me cola and because my aunt is a nurse I'm always wondering my aunt always drinking cola light and I've always and bleach and cola she's always bleaching and cleaning with bleach and cola I was wondering why and then I, I, I asked her and she said yeah because cola whatever you eat and um, like people who go out and eat and get poison from food um, cola is good to break down and this is not a reclam of a cola um, to break down whatever and and, and, and from that I, I'm always having um, cola um, and it helps me because um, whatever the fermentation in um, because each blood group and that's another um, video that I need to take out so this coincide with a lot of stuff and, and let me see if this is um, over an hour no this coincide with a lot of stuff that we need to find out really and truly who we are because um, these are information that is very very important for each and every person to understand themselves because um, you you know where you were born your birth chart and all of that thing and especially for people who tends to be born somewhere but have no connection with that place and always wonder why is that because they think is there something wrong with me no there is not nothing wrong with you but you need to be born in that place because of certain um, environmental um, um, like nurturing certain food that you need um, to grow up on um, to protect you in some sort of a way and um, like for some people you will go back to where you um, were born and some people have no connection to where they were born and some people wonder why was I born here what is and then you have to kind of understand certain things that um, each and every person and open your eyes to this because this is going to be a light bulb moment and a lot of people are going to say hell no but yeah each and every person and this is for the whole souls that have come back each and every person has gone through every color race so if you were born at this time as a black person you were a white person um, if you were born at this time as a white person you were a black person okay so every life cycle every time you reincarnate you come back as a different um, um, culture a different um, yeah culture 
um, to express an experience say say that um, okay say that you were born um, as a white person and you had a connection with somebody who was black but it couldn't be because in that time that, that can't be then you're going to switch roles with that person to come back as them to see how it would have been so it's like we constantly and especially the people who are constantly on the karma wheel um, people who are constantly on the karma wheel is people who are afraid of the transition people who are afraid of dying um, um, and, and leaving this because uh, um, this planet is a planet of free will so it is sex drugs and rock and roll no other planet is like this one okay this planet we have so much that we should be happy for and blessed for on this planet that we are not aware of and what is happening is that the energy on this planet um, makes us because we're not all from the same um, a universal the same solar system uh, some of us are here from different and if you notice um, that if you look at some people especially um, there was this thing with this footballer who he um, he constantly bite and everybody was going on about it and I'm thinking are we as as a society and as people do not understand that situation um, and it is was just easy as to understand his past life what was this person past life remember that each and every one of us begin as the wind we we we, we move from the wind it's, it's like every time we make we make a, a, a more standard we go through that we learn what we're supposed to be so we were we were a stone we were a bird try and realize that we all came up that form each and every one of us we just never plops, become a human like that no we you need to understand how our things work you need to understand that um, we were all um, animals we, we we had to go through that experience it's like every time we are the stone the wind we had to move through all of that to become and understand a human and that's why human beings are supposed to be one of the most intelligent but sometimes most of us um, behave as if we are all animals and that is because we vibrate and we still carry the animal instinct within us so when you look at this planet there's a lot of people that connect with animals especially the animal lovers people I love you all because um, there is a connection because a dog is a man best friend and that is so true a dog is a man best friend because that is a protector uh, a dog will always protect you because you show this dog love and affection and this is this is one of the most powerful things that, that um, um, they, they're a connection everything is connected and um, you can always see with these um, protective animals how protective they are um, to their masters and thing and how they treat their masters and if every anyone should um, someone from outside would come in they will actually protect you from that sort of a thing so you know go back and on and understanding um, um, this planet is very um, why we are here because a lot of people think oh I'm you know what's the sense because you know we're all gonna die yes but we're all gonna die but where we're we gonna go and and why you know have you ever asked yourself that question so my life is always um, when people spend hours on the telephone gossiping and that sort of a thing I'm trying to research and 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 connecting the dots and uh, I read a lot to, to see especially there are certain um, information that comes out in um, in you know but the most important thing is that I'm always 
um, educating myself and um, trying to find out why certain things and certain aspects while most people I'm sometimes I could be driving and I'm just you know thinking about you know certain aspect and certain things and what is the connection because um, you will find that light light workers people um, they can be very in themselves and that is by being in yourself what you're doing is that you're trying to figure out how certain things and a certain aspect of things happen so the changes that is coming up for the next five years and whatever that I'm challenging the next five years obviously there is there is going to be a huge shift in the next five years and this huge shift is you're going to be make or break in this next five years and it's up to you as an individual and you as a person to choose what it is and which part you are about to take because the next five years is going to make or break you and it doesn't really matter where you are on this planet it doesn't really matter um, um, what's what's happening uh, where you live or or which country you are in because uh, the huge shift on this planet is going to happen and um, it can be a positive shift or it can be a negative shift and that that is dependent on us as an individual that is here on this planet okay so you can have a mental shift or um, a mental shift that is going to come in in a positive way and once we begin positive and we begin to send out positive information and positive thoughts to the universe then you will see that the shift is going to be positive in the way as we um, hold positive thoughts towards the shift that is coming in as we go to research who we are and what is um, our um, permanency and our position on this planet why are we here you know that sort of a thing and I can give you so many examples but each and within your blueprint because each and every person have a blueprint just like a building has a blueprint you as an individual have a blueprint and in that blueprint is there everything that you need to know and what you can do is call upon your might I am present and ask your mighty I am present to awaken your blueprint to tell them that it is time if you feel that it's time and you're ready to really know who you are and then from you from asking your mighty I am present to open up your blueprint and if they your mighty I am present think you are ready and it is your time for your blueprint to open up then information is going to come in to you and you are going to be awakened and aligned because then you're going to be really oh that's why oh my god okay you know that that's what what is going to happen to you um um, a lot of people um, begin to do readings and that sort of a thing um, need, not everyone is going to do a reading I've seen a lot of people coming out and that sort of a thing and not everyone is going to do readings some of you are going to find out that you have gifts in healing people and uh, it can be in massage it can be in um, touching people and you're going to find out other things about yourself because the next five years a lot of people are going to realize that they are not who they thought they were okay it's gonna be whoa okay but on the other side you need to understand that you need to be aware that you do not use these gifts or use what you know in the wrong way because it's going to once once you use your gift in the wrong way it is going to turn around on you so again I'm wanting you people whoever you are out there 
you have realized that you have a gift be aware of how you use it you were gifted with this special thing to use it to help humanity and not use it for your own purpose again I'm saying this because it's going to happen within the next five years people are going to find out that they're very good with something they're going to see that things are starting to happen to you guys do not use it to hurt other people because it's going to turn back at you so I'm warning each and every person about this so as the shift is going to take place in the next five years what is going to happen is that a lot of people are going to find themselves very unbalanced and the way to be balanced and the way to be grounded it is good to walk in nature so um, you know if it's good if you have and uh, whatever it's your free day to just walk in nature walk bare feet um, it's not gonna happen for everyone because some countries or and some places sorry is in um, um in, in the winter so you can ask to ground yourself so use um, visualize yourself standing outside and walk in on bare feet of you call upon your angels and guides and ask them to ground you once you feel as if and you're getting oh, um, yeah then you know you need to ground yourself and uh, call upon Serasmus Bay Archangel Gabriel supervisor tone element master of fire ask them to clear your energy vibration and that sort of a thing okay so once you do that you will understand what is happening for you and you can um, more you're more capable of holding yourself in balance okay um, the most important thing um, for you guys is to fall, find out your birth chart okay um, mine was so blown away um, when I did my birth chart because <laughs> I um, that mine was like ooh, and um, I was looking at all my friends birth chart of course I was asking them if I could look at their birth chart and mine was so uh, there is so much happening in my birth chart and and then I go back and I start to research and then I realize and I um, the, the more activity that is in your birth chart um, one it tells you that you have been to this planet before and um, um, one you have been to this planet before two it gives you information um, about how many um, lifetime you have returned to this planet and what you're here for if you have a birth chart that is all over the place that just everything is happening you're here not um, to create karma but you're here to help other people with their karmas okay and I looked at a birth chart from a friend of mine and his birth chart was with nothing <laughs> so I was like what So I, I, I and, and then I, I I started questioning and then I started and I went back and I start and I said okay so you're a watcher so if you find out that your birth chart is it doesn't have a lot of action and when I say action is that you know you will see what is in the twelve hours because each and every birth chart have their twelve hours and if you see that there is not a lot of action in your birth chart most of the time you're a watcher most of the time you're just here um, to watch and if you realize that um, you are not interested in relationships it's okay to see people but for yourself you um, you you are willing to be alone um, on your own um, this is saying that um, you do not want to create um, extended because um, people 
who do not want to have relationship they will see people and that sort of a thing but they don't want to end up living with someone sharing with someone and having kids it's because they're watchers they're just here um, their energy vibration is working and helping out this planet but yet still they're more connected with their uh, soul group soul family and they live alone because they are able to balance and manage themselves so um, this happens a lot that a lot of people are not aware of uh, um, um, why certain people do certain things and you know sometimes I get this a lot that people said you know but I I met this guy and he's so nice but you know it's as if he doesn't want to be in a relationship and um, it is so that certain people do not want to have relationships because they don't want to create karmas they are um, here for to help with the energy vibration of this planet and um, being alone and being focused on what they have to do and the survival skills of this planet that's important for them and to get involved with having the relationship the kids and all that stuff will take them away from their true divine purpose so uh, th those are things that we need to start respecting people for because um, some people do not understand why certain people behave a certain way and sometimes them themselves are not aware of what is happening to them and um, um, you know so your birth chart says a lot it tells you a lot and um, um, if you find someone who can really really give really um, explain to you your birth chart it's going to help you a lot to understand who you are and what to expect over um, a couple like over this five years that is coming because it's really it's going to be a shift of consciousness so um, you might choose to do it and you might not choose to do it. whatever you have chosen to do it is um, from your own sense of being um, I can give you the information that the shift is about to come but um, it depends on who you are and if you want to accept the information I can leave the information because actually this is something that I should be um, put in for a paid thing but I'm thinking money is not important I think we should all educate to ourselves and if I have the information to give to you um, I used to write a blog but I stopped writing the blog because I realized that a lot of people were using my information um, and um, now I do it in a video uh, or um, I am about to put my other book together but <laughs> there has been so much changes because I know that my changes was coming in this year um, after 30 years I know that my change in uh, changes was about to come because I know in 2017 my whole life would change so uh, and we all know because we always feel it coming up and this is it our blueprint in our blueprint each and every person has a blueprint you know it's as if um, some people who tends to travel and move a lot there are people who just don't hold on and anything there are people who just um, travel the world and you know they meet someone and they they're off so they never have a, a foundation place they never um, spend so much time somewhere because they're always traveling and um, it is in their energy vibration to travel it is a part of who they are and they have to go and meet these people and these people and situation is going to move them on to another situation and uh, and, 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 and a lot of people were just born at the same place and they live the same place and they married to someone in the same place and that's it <laughs> but um, that's it we all um, we all know um, who we are but sometimes um, we are afraid to face up with who we are and um, I'm glad for the person that I have become because um, I, I I started looking at birth charts and 
and and and and I was so inquisitive um, about astrologue and, and 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 then I start to um, combine the spiritual world and by meditating um, the consciousness is awakened and then you actually balance out this and then you you understand um, why certain things and you learn to respect other people for their belief and their culture so whenever we find ourselves starting um, you know to work against people and to think yeah um, now and that sort of a thing no and um, that means you're not intelligent enough and intellectually enough uh, to open yourself to other um, possibilities uh, to other um, you know it's, 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 it's just as if okay I go to the Catholic Church so I don't want to hear about the Apostolic Church I go to the Apostolic Church so I don't want to hear about Thanksgiving Church it's that sort of a thing that means that you're not um, intellectually enough to open up your mind to other um, you know other things you know um, because I can't say because I am and because I am um, a colored woman I'm not going to go to the orchestra or I'm not going to go to a classical concert if I do like it then you know and so this is how you understand why certain things you're attracted to why certain things attract you and why certain things don't attract you and um, I was glad when I started to look at my birth chart because I, I've been I've been looking at my birth chart and studying myself from ever since uh, I was um, I think I was 19 when I started doing that because I really wanted to know why I I there, there are certain things that I think no I don't want to be a part of that or um, certain people who I think I you know I reserve myself or um, you know I need to understand why do I feel this way for certain things so I started to study because no one else can tell you who you are you are the one who know you who you are so there's certain things that I look at and there are certain people and certain organization and situations that I think I choose not to be a part of because um, um, once we know um, what was in our birth chart when we were born because that's the most important thing and you need to know about your birth chart when you were born and by that you need to study what is going to happen in a year you need to know what planets are going to be in your birth chart for a year because whenever you know that information you know what to expect in that year and the more and more I do the energy vibration reading is the more I am um, you know I, these things are coming up because you're seeing that the energy in a year is good for a certain zodiac energy but for some other people it's like whoa it's it's up and down and all over the place and that sort of a thing and I was I made a graphic thing because I'm I love Excel I'm very good with Excel and I was looking at um, a, a graphic for all the four elements and um, it was crazy because for the year this year 2017 for all the air signs which is the Aquarius the Gemini and the Libras was a good good year because you can see that it was gradually going up it, you know they were advancing in this year it was like as if the energy vibration in this year was pushing and working with the, the Aquarians the Libras and uh, um, the Gemini's and this was very good it was like they were cleansing things shedding things but yet still as they shed it was like the Wheel of Fortune you're shedding something and then the Wheel of Fortune is bringing you um, good things it's like you're shedding and when we look at the hurt sign people this was a year where it's as if it was like 
you need to be awakened. You need to be awakened. It was... And then when we looked at water sign people, it was connect with your spirituality. You know, so there was different forms, different things that was happening. And when we looked at the fire people, it was like passion, boom, 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 pop passion boom 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 pop and some um, of these fire people the older ones were actually um, climbing you know going up which was um, um, very good so the surprising effect is that when you are consciously aware that you just didn't come here to get married have kids and that's it because as I was given an example from 0 to 5 from 5 to 10 you start to find out your characteristic and between the ages of 5 to 10 you start to find out your characteristic what you like what you don't like between 10 and 10 and 16 you start to um, awakening you know like who you are you know what attracts you what you are feeling you know so um, there is when you know whether you are um, gay or bisexual or um, or heterosexual so um, when people all of a sudden came out of the closet uh, 40 45 it's like really you have all along know that you were gay okay so um, um, we can fool we try to fool other people but you're only fooling yourself because between the ages of 10 to 16 you kind of know what you like okay you kind of okay some people are going to you know like play around to find out but you actually know that you are attracted um, to this form or this sort and th th that's where you start building um, your characteristics because here you are getting mature so you you, you kind of you know building your characteristic because between the ages of 10 and 16 you build your characteristic and then between 16 and 20 there is where you try to figure out and try to you know sieve around to to know you know like what am I who am I um, am I attracted to men am I attracted to women um, what kind of women I like what kind of men I like um, what is my perfect perfect person you know that sort of a thing so it is when we are finding out who we are, who we are attracted, what attract us. That is when we're building our characteristic to know that who we are. Like people would say, "Yeah, you're, you know, you, I, I am someone who's um, casually elegant, and this is my own life, and this is my home, and this is the things that I choose to." vibrate with because that's how I feel so I gradually build my characteristic and this is what everyone do so sometimes you know you're you know you're talking I say you no know, I really didn't know that I I felt like that and, and you're 40 and you're coming out of the closet let's 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 be real you know and people out there who um, especially um, parents who um, kids are gay there is nothing wrong with it you need to embrace this okay um, there is a lot of people who are having a problem with their kids being gay bisexual or whatever there is nothing wrong with it each and every person came on this planet to choose to vibrate on the a certain energy vibration and we cannot um, choose the lives of someone else I can't um, choose the life of my son because even if I see my son 
is going in the wrong direction if it's not something that I can just you know and, and uh, um, if I see that he's choosing the wrong partner I have to make him learn and go through that experience for himself and that's how I see it and I can choose to do one thing I can choose not to um, connect with his partner in whatever way because I am seeing more than what he's seen because most of the time when people are in relationship they are not seeing what someone else from outside is seeing but yet still I used to be no I can't and, and then I realized whoa I'm a spiritual person I have to look at this much better I can choose for him what I can do is be there for him and I can help him and it is um is it one of the hardest thing to be a parent a lot of people say that but I really don't think so I think if you study your child's birth chart um, you're capable and aware of who that child is going to be and how that child is going to come out so it has a lot to do with the birth chart of someone and um going back to be a parent being a parent is actually um, supporting your child in whatsoever area of their lives is not telling them to do something is supporting them in what they choose to do hold it hold it people um, it's not that you're saying to your child yes it's good to break in somebody's house or anything like that no nothing like that it's um, for them to choose their characteristic um, for them to say um, I want to be this because this is where I feel I am supposed to be like um, they want to be a nurse instead of a doctor or they want to be a fireman instead of a police whatever it is okay we need to really 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 support our kids in the career choices that they take okay all right there is just some career choices that I think um, I will not get into because um, I can't imagine um, you coaching yourself um, but you know experience different life situation make people make different and this is why we're not all alike okay and that is another thing that we all on this planet need to respect each other because circumstances make we who we are again circumstances make we who we are that is the same but I'm wondering and when I study it circumstances make you who you are but I have known of people who have gone through um, horrible things but yet still they still find the ambition to become and to make something of their lives so we all have a choice okay we all have a choice and sometimes people said but I really don't have any choice yes you do have a choice okay you do have a choice there are many choices and um, with all of these choices that happen there are many choices and sometimes we are you know we're not aware of uh, the certain choices that we make but every choices that you make every action is a reaction so if you make a choice to um, do something bad it's your choice because you know the difference between good and bad and like some people say yeah but I had no one to tell me that no you don't need anyone to tell you 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 were born with the intelligence and the understanding of course some people do not have the intelligence and the understanding but yet still you can look and 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 um, copy someone who is doing something that is positive someone who is uh, um, you know choosing the right part so it's not that you know I, I I don't have a choice and yeah I did this or it's, no it is you choosing um, to make the right choices in your life so yeah I'm 
over the hours so I'm gonna wrap this up now people and um, it's it's um it's gonna be a, a really a change a shift um, for the next five years and um, it's up to you you are to make that shift and choose and make the choices to make the shift um, to help you um, to um, work through the shift it is um, to, to know who you are and um, to have an understanding of your birth chart when you were born because there are information um, that will help you um, this video has gone over a hour, so I'm hoping that I can get it um, bounce and upload. And I'm hoping um, to get this out before um, um, before um, next month. So I want to say to each and every person, um, see what information you can receive from out this video. Um, knowing your birth chart is very important because there is a lot of information that's going to help you about who you are um, not only the birth chart you need to um, connect also with other readers for information that is going to come because your birth chart gives you some information and that's why they're readers they are people who does astrology they are people who do all type of readings um, so I want to say to each and every one thank you for being here please share this video please share these videos it is very important that you share these videos um, because other people will um, receive what information and whatever was channeled in this video that can help humanity okay this is all what is all about helping humanity helping us to understand who we are and I want to say namaste um, I'm sending you for love and light and I want to say to each and everyone that listened to this video thank you for connecting um, and try and help to change the world as I am